defence provisions, for example, will certainly be reviewed. Um, I call Stuart Smith. Thank you, Mr Chair. Um, Mr Chair, uh, this is an interesting section. Uh, unfortunately, this is the first opportunity I've had to speak on this bill, but um, I'd have to start by qualifying that actually I'm a very liberal person in this um, space, so I'm not uh, personally against the consumption of cannabis, but I, and particularly for medicinal purposes, but I think that we need a good framework to deal with, and I don't believe this is. I think this bill is really akin to a legislative blank check, and um, I think that's been well covered by my colleagues uh, to the left of me, but uh, in their seating, not necessarily in their political spectrum. But, um, Mr Chair, what I don't get in this um, 5A, it says uh, that, you, uh, that a person requires palliation, may procure, possess, consume, consume smoke or otherwise. And uh, it is my understanding that um, you know, the, the, the main thing for a, a, a code of ethics for a, for a medical practitioner is to first do no harm, primum non nocere. So on the basis of that, how does smoking get into this bill? So if we're talking about medicinal purposes, um, while I accept things like chemotherapy certainly do do some harm uh, on the balance of, uh, of all when all the evidence is looked at, while it does some harm to the body, it is actually doing uh, more good than harm, therefore it is a medicine and therefore it is, it is able to be used uh, in a considered way. But when you're smoking loose leaf cannabis, um, where was the balance in, in this to allow it? I don't, I'm not aware, I'm not a medical practitioner, but I'm not aware of any uh, medicine being delivered um, by smoking. Uh, and I'd like, uh, my question to the Minister is, um, what work uh, did he do, uh, or his department do, um, to uh, put smoking into this clause uh, with that uh, main uh, thought being in what, what harm, uh, potential harms that, that smoking does? We spend an inordinate amount of money in New Zealand trying to get people off um, smoking uh, tobacco uh, because of the harm it, it does. Uh, and there's new evidence coming out now that smoking cannabis uh, also does quite a, a lot of harm to the, per, uh, to the uh, body. So where uh, was the work done on this to put um, that into this clause? Because uh, I think you know, that we as legislators also have a duty of care and that we should be not passing laws that allow people to do harm uh, in, in effect to try and or uh, to try and treat another harm, that is their medicinal use for them in the first place. Now, the, my colleague talked about a medicinal uh, marijuana card or cannabis card, and I think when you talk, uh, that certainly the places I'm aware of, all uh, require, that allow medicinal cannabis, all require a medicinal cannabis card. And I think that it seems crazy that we wouldn't have one. And to have it, um, hand it over to a, a bunch of officials who may well consult with the public, but we don't allow other regulations to be made in that source. We give a, 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 a steer to those regulation-making um, powers so that we, it fits within a framework that Parliament has considered. Now, I know one of the previous speakers said that well, it should be gone, go out to full public consultation. Well, this is the first part of public consultation with the elected um, members in this chamber. It is our role uh, to try and get something in the legislation that is fit for purpose, that gives a good steer uh, on how this might be managed. And I don't believe this, this bill does that at all. I'm, I was very, very um, green on this space, didn't really know a lot about it, until Dr Riti put his SOPs, um, or his particular bill up, and we all uh, had an opportunity to learn a great deal because of the work that, that Dr Reedy has done in this space. And you know, as I said, I'm quite liberal on this, uh, but I think if you're going to make a law, you've got to make a good one. It should be incumbent on us to actually first do no harm ourselves. And I think that this bill is actually um, leaving it wide open for us to do a lot of harm. And particularly when we are sanctioning and saying, OK, don't smoke tobacco. We're spending a lot of money to stop you smoking tobacco because it's going to do you a lot of harm. But actually, in this case here, we're going to send you another message. 
Uh, the public, please, if you're feeling uh, you need medicinal uh, cannabis, it's OK to smoke it. Uh, and we're effectively uh, sending a mixed message, and I don't approve. Mr. Chair, um, the Honourable Dr. Mr. Chair, there was uh, one point in that that, that related 